I'm not religious, but we all have moments where we have no choice but to pray. Dear God, if you don't let me get pregnant, then I promise I will be a good person. I mean, I, I, I am a good person right now. I mean, like, obviously I'm not like the best or like a saint or a martyr or anything, but you know, I also don't kill bugs. So like, I'm, I'm not that terrible. I, I guess what I'm promising is like, I will just be an even more better person. Please don't. That's it? That's your promise? You're just gonna keep doing what you're doing, just slightly better? Oh my god. I, I mean, you're the god, right? Ye yep. Duh. And, and as god almighty, I gotta tell you, girl, don't worry. You're not pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah. Having kids is rough. I can't even imagine. I mean, do you have more than the one, more than <laughs> JC? Yeah. Yeah, and my vagina has never been the same. See, that is exactly what I'm worried about. Well, you should be. Oh, it is traumatized. They don't tell you. It's traumatizing what happens on there. And sometimes they full wave all the way back. Sometimes. <sighs> Can't you just like, I mean, I don't know, like magic. <laughs> magic. Is that, that's what you think I do? You think being, being God, being mother is, no, it's not magic. Okay, I birth you out and give you the universe, okay? And then I pray to, to myself so that everybody's gonna be okay. But I'm like this glorified mother that everybody likes to blame their problems on. Because you know, I didn't, even, I didn't even do the first biblical plague. You know that? It's wrong in the books. All I did was I spilled my wine in the Nile and then everybody got all... Oh, I gotta go deal with this, just hold on. But let me back up. So I want kids, but I'm also terribly afraid of everything that they potentially represent. Will having kids jeopardize my career? Will I now be seen as unattractive and used up? Because, you know, society tells you you're only as good as your sexual desirability when you're a woman. Will I ever get a good night's sleep again after having them? And aren't moms supposed to know everything? I'm not even close to knowing anything, much less everything. I mean, I just found out last week that Greek statues originally had color. What the hell? Julie, did you know about this? We've had evidence since the 18th century that ancient sculptures had color, but the marble white antiquity image has been so deeply entrenched that it remained? My entire limited knowledge of Greek history is a lie. Oh my gosh, this is like the time that I found out Pluto was a planet and I felt like my whole universe was turned literally upside down. I've been seriously questioning lately, like do I actually want kids? Or am I just programmed by society and biology to think that I want kids? And if it's not that programming, then is all of this coming from a subconscious fear of what kids represent in terms of consequences for my career, my sexuality, and my identity? Because my mind is like, hell no, you don't want kids. Say goodbye to your independence. Say goodbye to your blossoming career. Say goodbye to your health insurance because if you're not acting for nine months, you won't meet those premiums for sag and aftra. Seriously, that happened to my friend who's now pregnant and uninsured. But my ovaries are like, of course you want to be a mom. You have four cats and 18 plants in your house. You were made for this. You love to love. Just imagine a kitten, but it has no fur and it's got your nose and your partner's eyes and it looks up at you. Remember how I said it looks like a kitten? And so I did what I always do. I found a book. Regretting Motherhood is a collection of anonymous stories from mothers who regret it. You know, I wanted to read this because every topic I've seen about motherhood is always the same narrative. Yes, it's hard, but it's so worth it. You'll be exhausted, but it's so rewarding. You'll change immediately and permanently for the better. But let's be real. The only reason that narrative is so pervasive is probably because saying out loud that you regret having a human being is a pretty hot take that nobody wants to say. But if I want to have a real conversation about whether or not I should tackle motherhood personally, then shouldn't I hear all sides? Shouldn't I be informed of the good and especially the bad? I don't think anyone should tackle one of the single most responsibility-based tasks of raising a human being without being fully aware of what it entails. And you know what? I don't want kids. Not right now. In the future, I mean, maybe, if I have a really fulfilling career and I manage to find an amazing partner who would also make a wonderful parent and if I feel financially and emotionally stable enough to raise a good person in this global climate with all of the things that are happening, but that's a lot of ifs. I'm hopeful. I mean, kind of, dating in LA is really hard, but, you know, in the meantime, I just, I have cats. Fish.
Mm, yes, baby, we get you some fish. I'm Anna Arcana, and thank you to Julie for being in today's video. Please, please, please go to Julie's channel and watch some of her fantastic content. She's a wonderful writer and actress. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description to one of my favorite videos of her, so you have no choice but to watch, and you will not be disappointed. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, complete with marketing tools and analytics to have your store be the best she can be. I know some of you love to create audio content. Well, Squarespace Squarespace has audio blocks, which allows you to embed audio on your site and tag the audio for iTunes when your audio block is placed in a blog. Plus, you can have multiple contributors receive selective access to your site's website manager. And do not worry, you own all the content that you put on the Squarespace platform. They offer one-click data portability. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anna to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Squarespace, give a birth to a beautiful website.